Today, I am so excited to announce our brand new artist for the next two weeks. Let's check him out. Wayne Tebow is an American painter known for his colorful works depicting regular everyday objects such as pies, ice cream, pastries, and even people. All right, so now that we have learned about our artist today, we are going to be making really, really cool, very sweet cupcakes. And it just so happens to be a very, very special girl's ninth birthday today, my next door neighbor, Charlotte. So we're gonna actually make this cupcake for her. Happy birthday, Charlotte, whenever you're ready, let's get creative. All right, guys, so in the style of Wayne Tebow, we are going to be making a cupcake today, like I said. So the first thing we need to do is come towards the bottom of our paper here. And we're gonna make a really light, smiley face looking shape just like that, okay? And we are going to come up on either side, making kind of tall diagonal lines coming outward towards our paper. And this is gonna be the wrapper for our cupcake. Put this a little bit bigger. And you guys could use pencil or marker, pen, whatever you've got. And between this line and here, we are going to make a nice big zigzag line. Now when you do this step, you want your zigzags to be nice and big, so that way it's a little bit easier for us at the end to see our wrapper. So just like that. And now the next step, guys, is that we're actually gonna come down every time the wrapper goes up and the wrapper comes down, just making nice long lines like this. And as always, we need a horizon line, so that's just going to help our cupcake kind of sit on the floor and fade into the background. So you could just put a straight line right behind it. You don't want to put it through your cupcake. As always, you are welcome to use a ruler like that. Oh, that was pretty close. Awesome job, guys. So for our actual cupcake itself, this is really, really fun part. We're going to be making nice long kind of squishy looking oval. So I'm going to start here. Squish, squish, squish. Just like that. I'm going to do that again, but a little bit smaller this time. Squish, squish, squish. All right, guys, and one more. This one's a little bit of a special one because it's the top of our cupcake. So we're going to make a big swirl almost looks like a backwards S. And then we're gonna kinda come down and follow it around. So it's a little bit of like a, a curvy triangle. And then at the top here, the one thing that we are definitely missing is that cherry on top. So we can make a nice big circle and a cool little And that's a pretty good place to start, guys. Our next step, and I'm gonna let you do this too, is sprinkles. So fun and so important. We're gonna just go nice and slow, making really, really long, squishy little shapes. Kind of curvy little rectangles, really, really long and skinny. And you can make them all over your cupcake. The more, the better. So go ahead and do this, and I'll meet you back here. All right, my friends. So now that we've done that, we get to color everything in, which is so exciting. So my neighbor, Charlotte, her two favorite colors are pink and purple. So I think I'm gonna do hot pink and this nice dark purple color. I'm just gonna alternate colors, so that means every other one. So we have pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, making a really cool pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in just that wrapper to start, and I'll meet you back here. All right guys, awesome job. So my next step is that I'm going to be working on the icing. 
Now, my wonderful, wonderful neighbor Charlotte loves chocolate icing, so I think I'm going to do some chocolate. Now, since we already have these wonderful sprinkles in place, the best suggestion I have, guys, is actually take that color you want for your icing, whether it's like maybe beige for vanilla or pink for strawberry, and I want you to go around all of your sprinkles first so that when we do color it in, it's a little bit easier. We don't bump into any of our sprinkles. You can also do that right above our wrapper. This just makes everything a little bit easier to color in, my friends. So I'm gonna do that to all of my sprinkles, and I'm gonna color the background, which is where the icing is, all brown. All right guys, awesome job. We are almost, almost there. I'm gonna take some red. I'm gonna color my cherry in. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna color in some of my sprinkles. Now I like rainbow sprinkles, so I think I'm gonna do a bunch of different colors for my sprinkles. So maybe I'll use this red, maybe I'll use yellow, green. And then also for our cherry stem, cherry stems are green. So I'm gonna grab my green. I'm just gonna come on in here and give a nice little stem. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some sprinkle colors. Meet you back here. I'm gonna go ahead and Sharpie everything and then we're gonna talk about this background right here. This wonderful job with that. Um, now you have a choice. You could either use crayon or you can use color pencil. I'm gonna use, I think, crayon. And I'm gonna pick two colors, one for the top and one for the bottom here. And it could be any color you'd like if you wanna do pink and purple again. If you did pink and purple on your wrapper, you can continue that. Um, if you wanna do one of the colors you had um, in your sprinkles, you can do that as well. So I think I'm gonna do lime green on the top and then let's see, maybe some cool bright blue on the bottom. So I'm gonna put a line here just to kind of separate right where that horizon line is. And then same here. And I'm gonna take my time coloring that whole entire top part. With this bottom part, if you were able to press pretty lightly, the cool thing that you can do with either color pencil or crayon is you could make a cool, fun drop shadow. So how I'm gonna do that is make just a nice kind of big oval coming towards the bottom, going towards the left-hand side. Kind of like that. And then I'm just gonna press as hard as I possibly, possibly can with my crayon or color pencil. And it's gonna make the illusion that we have a light on our cupcake and it's casting a shadow onto this floor or surface. Really, really hard, press, press, press. Something kind of like that. I'm gonna add one more thing for the birthday girl. And there you have it, our fun little Wayne Tebow inspired cupcake. So instead of putting this on my art wall, I'm actually going to put it in my mailbox for the birthday girl. Thank you so much for watching Art Corner with Miss K. I hope you had a blast. I can't wait to show you part two of this project for next week. Until then, let's stay creative. I'll see you then.